questions, how well am I or my son or daughter going to do if I come to holier? Well, you're absolutely right to ask us this question. And the achievement of our students is something of which we are very proud. Last year, Holier A-level students set an outstanding pass rate of over 99% across all subjects, with 82% of all grades being at the higher level of A-star to C. But even more importantly than that is to consider our value-added scores. By value-added, I'm talking about the amount of progress students have made since their starting point at GCSE. Our results with those value-added scores place us in the top 10% of all English schools. These results reflect the consistently high standard set by holier students for many years. I and the staff at the school are so proud of our students' academic achievements, but much more than that, of the type of caring young people they have become. So if you choose to become part of our holier community, your chances of success are very high. If you wish to find out more about our results, please visit our school website. Also on our website, you can find our sixth form prospectus, which of course is absolutely fundamental in carrying out your research about your subject options. The IB Diploma has been running successfully at Holier for a number of years now, and last year's students once again demonstrated what can be achieved with grit and determination. Our IB cohorts have always performed above worldwide pass rates, and securing university points in line with or above a straight A grade profile at A level. The IB Careers Programme is our latest and perhaps most innovative sixth form offer. It's designed to reach out to students who want a mixture of vocational work-related learning and academic study. This course is particularly targeted for students who are looking for a career in the finance, business and accountancy industries. When you begin the application process to join Holia, we will provide you with the support to match your aspirations to find the right programme for you, whichever of the three courses you are looking at. Above all, keep an open mind. Really do consider all of those three options. Sometimes taking a route you are less familiar with can open up a whole world of possibilities. When we introduced the IB over a decade, ag decade ago, we did so because we were convinced that it could offer students that little bit extra, and that's something different. With that passing time, we are equally convinced that our IB students now stand out from the crowd. We also have evidence to support this from the Higher Education Statistics Agency, who have found amongst a number of findings that IB diploma students are 57% more likely to attend one of the UK's top 20 universities. IB students are more likely to achieve a first or higher second classification in their degree. And we also know that the overall median annual salary of IB leavers was higher than students of all other qualifications offered in the UK. And we also have our own evidence that we have seen a competitive edge that the IB has given to students who are heading into the workplace at 18 and again after higher education. In a short while, you'll hear from Freya and Finn who will talk about their decision-making process. One thing they share in common, even though they picked different options, is a fierce determination to do well. I hope that every student here tonight will follow Freya and Finn's lead by really reflecting and taking time to research your options as thoroughly as possible. Ask yourselves which course will give you that extra push, which course will help you to become <coughs> the best possible version of yourself. In, our, in addition to our commitment to supporting you with the achievement of academic excellence, we are focused on developing informed and caring members of the community. 
It's fundamental to the holier ethos to nurture an understanding that caring for others brings with it the longest and most likely path towards happiness and fulfillment. Holier students will be presented with countless opportunities <coughs> to put this principle into action. And more importantly, we will encourage you to come up with your own ideas to build a better world. You might have noticed this evening, for example, when coming into the hall, that we have decorations to celebrate our annual Sheep Week. This is all part of raising awareness and funds for our range of local and international charities. Whichever pathway you decide to follow, we are confident that Holia can offer you an amazing opportunity to succeed post-16. I hope you enjoy this evening. I'm now going to hand over to Miss Blackall, who will tell you in more detail about our core sections. Good evening. So as Mr. Paul said, my name is Kate Blackhall. I'm one of the deputy head teachers here at Holy, and I'd like to extend a warm welcome to you all this evening. Tonight, students, is not just about what you're going to do next year, but it's the time to consider what you're good at, what you enjoy, and also find out which subjects and which results you must have to access either a university course or a good career. It's also time to consider new subjects and areas of interest that perhaps you've not had on offer at GCSE level. You will recently have attended the 16 plus talks at your current schools. At these presentations, Jersey career staff have described how difficult it is currently to find employment without those right qualifications and most importantly, the best grades. So students, even if you think you have a clear idea of what you would like to do, or perhaps a friend is saying, do the same as me, Actually, what you need to do tonight is ask the right questions and find out what interests you. So, the discussions that you're going to have tonight or over these next few months may well determine how successful and rewarding your career will be. So, please use your evening wisely. We want you to choose well. We want you to keep doors open, but we know that poor subject choices can close them. As Mr. Fall mentioned, we're going to be offering three separate pathways to success in September 2020, which are illustrated on this slide. They are A-levels and the International Baccalaureate Diploma or the International Baccalaureate Careers Programme. Before I describe each pathway, I'd just like to make one thing clear. One route is not easier or harder than others. They are simply very different. Each varies in how they're assessed, and I would urge all students to consider carefully what their long-term goals are in order to select the right programme, the right pathway for you. So, let's start with A-levels. We offer over 26 subjects, and we expect <coughs> students to start by selecting four subjects to study. There will be opportunities to reduce that to three subjects throughout your two years with us, but all students have to start on four subjects. The new style of A-levels are linear, and they take two years to complete. So all the material from year 12 and year 13 are examined at the end of the second year. And we will be entering all students for linear assessment at the end of year 13. So in short, there are no AS end of year 12 qualifications. There are two exceptions to that, which is the certificate in financial studies and mathematics studies. This latter, Mathematics Studies, is specifically designed to support students with additional numeracy requirements that are required in the sciences, business, psychology, DT and geography A-levels and offers an alternative to that more traditional Mathematics A-level. One important difference between the IB and A-levels is in the sciences. There's a coursework component for the IB Sciences, which is no longer part of the A-level course, and therefore it's something that you need to consider carefully when choosing that correct pathway. So, choosing between A-levels and the IB, and then picking which subjects may seem daunting at the moment, but many, many students have been through this process. So we're now going to hear from Finn, who's going to try and help by explaining about his experience so far. Hi, I'm Finn. After completing my GCSEs at Le Canave School, I made the decision to continue my education at Holia and chose the route of A-levels as I felt it worked better for my options and for me personally. Following a large period of trial and tribulation towards which subjects to partake in, 
I finally came to settle on philosophy, psychology, history and English literature. However, once officially joining Holia, I then felt that English literature wasn't for me and so changed my course and decided to take economics on the IB course, alongside the rest of my choices on the A-level course. Since arriving as a Year 12 student, I have become a member of the Student Council following my previous role as Deputy Head Boy. I intend on getting involved in the Young Enterprise Company Program and I'm wanting to join the Rights Respecting Group within school. Not only am I pushing myself educationally to do more than just my subjects, but also in a personal sense as I've spoken to and become friends with many new people and I'm continually pushing myself to become more confident in class and on a wider scale, for example, by taking part in events such as these. But none of this would have been possible without the support of Holia and its staff. And something has to be said when a head of year can manage to teach and care for a year group of 300 who enter her office day in and day out with new queries. It is amazing to think that in a year's time I will be frantically searching the internet for university courses to apply to. And I know that last year I'd felt the same way towards my A-levels. And what was I going to do now I had all these choices? But whatever may come, the teachers here and at your current schools are all there to support you. And if you don't get it right the first time with your choices, you needn't stress, because I didn't, but after a, uh, after a short conversation, I found a solution to my problem. And my final choices are brilliant, and I love studying them all, because every day I learn something new and interesting. Now apologies, as I know once I begin talking, I tend not to know when to stop. But in closing, I would like to, like to say, try your hardest to not stress. And I'm sure you are all getting told this at the minute, and it's something I definitely did a lot of myself. But you have to take the future day by day, because come tomorrow, you might have a vastly different opinion on what you want to do in life. I know myself that at the minute, I am juggling where I want to go in the future and what career I may want. And although I have it down to two options, I can probably say for certain that in a few months' time, there'll be more in the mix. So thank you for attending this evening and keep working hard because in the end it will be all worth it. Thank you, Finn. We are in our 11th year of teaching the IB, IB here at Holia and it's now fairly Im firmly embedded in the Jersey education landscape. From our experience, employers value it and universities say they prefer it. Our IB students have been snapped up both by local employers and good universities alike. On the IB diploma, you study three subjects at higher level and three at standard level, and the exams are at the end of year 13. Because you study each subject for two years, it offers a fantastic opportunity to, immer to immerse yourself in those subjects and link the topics together. You have to study maths and English literature, but think carefully about that. Is a GCSE really enough in those crucial subjects for today's world? And that is something to seriously consider. That brings me on to the IB learner profile. The organisation has at its very core the type of student that they hope to develop by the end of the course, not just exam specifications as A-levels do. This profile is on the screen here, and these are the characteristics that are at the heart of the qualification to drive development of the overall whole person. To explain further, I'm now going to invite Year 12 IB student Freya to talk about her experiences. Hi, I'm Freya, and I'm an IB student in Year 12. Some of you might remember me from the, the Le Kenneve 16 plus evening last week, so apologies if this is a little bit repetitive. I moved to Holia from Jersey College for Girls in Year 10, and this time last year I was in the same situation as all of you, having to decide what I was going to be doing during the sixth form. And the best advice that I can give you is to listen to all the information provided by your teachers. This will really help in allowing you to, to make informed decisions about your future. At this point in time, I am really interested in going into primary school teaching. So after school, I'll go to university for three years where hopefully I'll study history. And then I'll take an additional year to do my PGCE to get the full qualification. The IB was the best option for me because going forward, I will be teaching students a range... <laughs> a range of <laughs> sorry, turn that off. <laughs> okay. The IB was the best option for me because going forward I will be teaching students a range of different subjects. I'm now studying English, maths and Spanish at standard level, and then history, art and biology at higher level. 
taking the IB meant I was only dropping four GCSE subjects, so I could keep continue to keep my options open. If I had done A-levels, I would have had to drop either maths or art, both of which were subjects I was really enjoying taking at the in GCSE level. IB meant I could continue with both, as well as taking a language. But the IB isn't for everybody, and you need to make the right decisions for you. IB transition is quite different to A-level transition. My IB cohort consists of about 35 students. IB and A-level students do not take the same classes unless A-level students take an IB subject such as economics or IB film studies. So classes are really small. Because of the small numbers, you get to know everybody pretty quickly. And with projects such as the shoebox appeal and trips such as the cast trip to St. Oban's Fort, you learn, quickly learn to develop your group work and communication skills. I'm sure you've all been told numerous times that sixth form is a real step up from GCSE. So rather than give you another warning about homework and tell you how you're meant to be using your study periods, I think it's important to mention all the things that make Holia such an amazing school. We have a brilliant student council, which I've been a part of since year 11. And every year, the drama department organizes a Christmas production, such as last year's Aladdin, which is always amazing. Not to mention the annual Sheep Week, which is happening right now, as you've probably seen in the streets. This is organized by our head team, so head boy, head girl, deputies, and it helps raise awareness and raise loads of money for local charities. Hol moving to Holia was one of the best decisions I've ever made, and I really hope you'll enjoy it here as much as I have. Thank you. Thank you, Freya. So the third and final route that you could take in your post-16 studies is the International Baccalaureate Career Careers Related Programme, which is a new course that we launched last month in September 2019 in conjunction with Deloitte. The IBCP we've chosen to offer is in business, so if you're sure that you want to work in the finance industry for a career, then this may be the course for you. As part of the programme, you study two diploma subjects alongside the IB diploma <coughs> students, but you also complete the Institute of Chartered Accountants in England and Wales Certificate in Finance, Business and Accounting, which is a highly regarded accountancy course. <coughs> That's delivered partly through lessons here in school, but IBCP students also spend time working at Deloitte, where they will undertake work experience and also complete elements of the core. The core in the IBCP is slightly different to the diploma. It has service learning, much like CAS, and includes a reflective project on your experiences. Students also undertake a personal and professional skills course, which will be delivered here in school and on placements and visits to Deloitte, and also undertake language development in a second language. That can, but doesn't have to be assessed as part of the course. I would just like to take a moment to emphasise one of the key differences um, that the IB courses on offer, uh, between the IB courses. That is that they are supported by service learning. So it's slightly different in the diploma compared to the, to the careers related programme, but it's a core element that students have to complete. Those are opportunities to develop personal skills further, to explore new opportunities, but also to give something back to the community. In fact, at the moment, we have a group of IB students in Costa Rica uh, working at the Future Green IB School. They're carrying out conservation work in the cloud forests and also assisting at a very deprived orphanage on the outskirts of San Jose. You can follow their progress via a blog on the TRIP section of our website. Please attend the IB presentation this evening if you want to find out more about these courses. Although in the past, parents have told us that those presentations can be a little bit short. So we're also running an IB information evening on Thursday the 7th of November at 6 o'clock here in school. And we look forward to welcoming you once more into Hovia to find out more. So, one of the questions that I often get asked on this evenings is, why should I do it? Why continue with the stress of schoolwork for another two years? Well, one of the places good qualifications can get you is to university. And we have excellent relationships with UK universities who visit Holia frequently to run workshops or seminars and help students prepare for university study. As part of a very carefully planned programme, all students receive career interviews and guidance. We also provide training on choosing the right course at the right university, including Oxford or Cambridge, plus universities around the world. You really don't have to go to university in the UK anymore. Europe, New Zealand, Australia, as well as America have been destinations for past Holians. So I said, as, as I said at the start, really think carefully about what you want for your future as you look around the school this evening. 
We value our employment pathways at 18 and have a great range of links with employers and work placements, which helps students to gain valuable experience for their CVs and their application forms, as well as, of course, our new offer of the IBCP. We take great pride in how personalised we make the guidance we offer, and we support students taking that next step beyond Holia, whatever it may be. So, I'm just going to pause now and share with you a video which shows a glimpse into life here at Holia. Hi, I'm Carlos. Hi, I'm Diana. Hi, I'm Holly. And welcome, welcome to, to Holia. Holia. Um, I chose the IBCP because I knew that I wanted to go into finance in the future. And on this course, it enables us to focus on the CFAB. So we work on the first six units of our, of our accountancy qualification which puts us at an advantage against other individuals? Uh, well, I've always enjoyed learning and learning new things. The IBDP, uh, I felt it was the right choice for me because I'd have a wide range of subjects to choose from and to do. Um, I chose biology and chemistry because I would like a career in environmental science. And then I chose history and art because then my options would like be wider if I go to university and eventually decide that I prefer a career in history or art. My last school there was students from year 7 to year 11 so it was a bit chaotic because there was a lot of people in one place. Yeah, there's less people, so there's from year 10 to year 13. And everybody's more mature, so it's easier to do your work and move around the school too. Because I am doing the IB diploma program, my classes are quite small, and um, I enjoy that because I feel more comfortable talking to the teacher. The staff at Holia help you to become self-regulated uh, and a lot more independent. Uh, the atmosphere is really relaxed and mature and we have responsibility and people trust us to do what we're supposed to do. We also get a lot of support from teachers and staff and just everybody in the school works together to make this a very good community. There are a lot of support systems around the school, from the heads of years and, and your form tutors as well, to the school counsellor. A-levels are a lot different compared to GCSE in terms of that. It is a lot harder, like, as expected, but it kind of encourages you the way that you're supposed to learn to be a lot more independent and that your study outside of school is very beneficial for like your work in school. Um, my classes are a lot of fun, I enjoy all of them. Um, it is hard work but I think if you are focused and determined you'll learn to enjoy it even more. The big thing about A-levels um, is that it allows you to focus on four subjects and really do your best in those four subjects. I've been enjoying philosophy and theory of knowledge because I want to go into law in the future and they're helping me question everything that I knew and thought was true. The IBCP um, lets you do the first six units of the 15 units that you have to do to become an accountant. So it puts you ahead of other individuals because you start 16 and not 18. You also get a lot, you get work experience, which makes it better because you, you know what you're doing when you start working. And it also allows you to do 
two extra IB choices and a language, so it means that your choices aren't restricted to just finance. The main thing about A-levels is that when you're studying four subjects, you can really consolidate your learning and also because they might be the four subjects that you enjoy the most, um, you're motivated to do well in those subjects. Personally, I chose the IBDP because it's an international qualification, so it's uh, recognised worldwide and it also encourages us to be independent learners. You don't have to have a career path in mind, but in a way it can benefit you, but if you don't, think more of subjects that you know you can do your best in. There's no point doing a subject that you're not going to enjoy because you're going to come into school every day and just dread it. Um, I'd suggest for them to get all the information they need from subjects so they know what to expect when they start. Make sure that you are aware of the amount of work that might be involved and the amount of extra time that you need to put in. Um, I'd say look ahead if you'd like to go to university. Make sure that you have picked subjects that are going to help you get to that specific course. And also pick some subjects that you'll enjoy doing because you spend most of your days here, so you might as well enjoy it. So I now want to focus very much on this evening and how to get the best out of it. If you are interested in either the IB Diploma or the Careers Related Programme, then please go along to Mr Wells Sims's talk, which is taking place in ICT6, immediately after the presentation. He can answer initial questions for you, and then please come along on the 7th of November to find out more. Our current A-level and IB students are here this evening, so please chat with them, find out what the courses are like from those who are actually doing them. And this evening, myself, Mr. Fall, Ms. Jackson, and Mr. Campbell will remain in reception, um, and we're happy to answer any questions you may have, as are the rest of the staff here this evening. Just a quick note to parents from the fee-paying sector. We won't have visited your schools in the last few weeks, so if you have any particular questions, please do ask us. Also, please take a note of the dates on the screen for our 16 plus experience days and for the application process because they may not be communicated to you um, except for on this evening or through our website. I would just like to draw everyone's attention to the application process. It's electronic. You complete it via the website. In the 11 to 16 schools, you may be taken through this by your teachers, but for other applicants, it's very straightforward, very easy to access from home. And please note that the deadline for applications is the end of this term, so that's Friday the 20th of December. On your chairs, you will have found a programme for the subject presentations this evening, and also a map. If you haven't got those things, then there are some spares in reception, so please do ask after the presentation. Please feel free to wander around the school, visit any subject areas that you wish. Refreshments will be served throughout the evening in the restaurants, and current students are here to help guide you around the building. If you are seated watching this presentation in the LLC upstairs, it would be really helpful if you could choose a presentation on the upper floor first. The evening tonight is really about finding out about the different pathways that we offer. But remember that you're going to experience different types of learning and examination patterns along each one. You really need to find out which route suits you best, especially in the sciences. This point is really important. They're, a, they're different to each other. So please make sure that you visit those presentations and listen to the advice on offer. Um, please don't follow other people tonight. Choose the presentations for yourself that you would like to that you would like to see. And most importantly, please don't leave this evening thinking, I wish I'd asked. So finally from me, enjoy your time with us this evening while you discover what makes Holia so special and what it can offer you. Um, please now make your way to the subject areas. <laughs>